Mr. Yum Yum, whatever is on your schedule for the next 20 minutes, cancel it. You're meeting with me. Who the fuck are you? My name is Karen. Yeah, that's clearly obvious. What are you doing in here? Hmm. <laughs> and I am the head of a newly formed group called the Defenders of Immediate Canceling of Humans with Dissenting Stances. So that's D-I-C-H-D-S. Dickheads. Okay. Our name hasn't been decided yet. I really think it has, Karen. Either way, it is our belief that if we are truly to progress as a society, we can no longer allow any intolerant behavior or closed-minded ways of thinking in any of our works of fiction either. That sounds very open-minded of you. As such, I am here to discuss the immediate canceling of certain of your champions that further propagate toxic ideology because of either lore or certain in-game abilities. You guys are trying to cancel fictional characters because you believe their backstories and gameplay affect real life decisions. Yes, and the first one is a champion named Kane. His ability to non-consensually enter champions, especially when a large majority of your champions are female, is outright disgusting. And anyone who plays Kane is just as, if not even more, disgusting. Okay, well, I actually agree with you on that part. But what if instead of canceling him, we make his ult a skill shot, and if he hits it, a docu-sign pops up in the middle of the screen that would give him consent? we demand he be canceled by next patch. Moving on. Now, even though practically all of your male champions are poster boys for toxic masculinity, Draven is by far the worst, and we expect him and his brother Darius to also be canceled because of it. <laughs> Makes sense. Tyler one's a Draven main. What more needs to be said, right? Kled is canceled for being a colonizer. Azir is canceled for not ending slavery. Anything to do with police is canceled. Don't think just because of Arcane, we forgot Vi's abilities used to say excessive force and assault and battery. Oh, that means any police skin as well. And Black Alistair. It's too similar to Blackface. That's a cow. We also demand that you use Seraphine more to continue to bring to light the struggles people have with depression. You don't want us to cancel Seraphine? Why would we want that? She's just a strong woman trying to find her way. You know, that's actually a good question. Uh, genocide might have something to do with it. It doesn't count if it's fighting the patriarchy. And every one of you dickheads thinks like this? <clears throat> Finally, we require Silas be made a person of color to lead the mage uprising, ultimately resulting in the destruction of the fascist nation of Demacia. I am completely on board with that one. Mage lives matter. Mr. Yum Yum, you are not taking this seriously enough. No, I totally am. I think we should cancel Ezreal too. And why would we cancel Ezreal? Because you're a homophobe? No, for stealing from indigenous people. Wait, Ezreal's not gay. Oh, come on. He's obviously gay. I mean, it's pretty well documented that uh, Ezreal is obsessed with Lux, but uh, did you just assume his gender and sexuality? Oh, <laughs> Wait till the other dickheads hear about this.